Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by. Today I'll be creating a layout using Nature and Madison Avenue and I am using the, I think this is the September 2019 uh, Kiwi Club Kit. Um, I am taking um, Susan Budge's challenge which she challenged everyone to use Nature and Madison Avenue and only those two template sets. So I actually end up using all of the Madison Avenue templates um, and all of the nature templates. And uh, I pretty much get to use up 11 pictures. I think it was 11. Yep, 11 pictures that I have had sitting in my hard drive for uh, a few years. My kids are all adults at this point. Um, they were still in high school and middle school. My youngest was in middle school at the time. And my oldest was a senior in high school. So these pictures I've been holding on to for a very long time. So I'm so glad that I actually get to use them up. So I am tracing, as you can see, my second set of um, templates here. And I really had a really... I really love challenges. I love to be challenged. Um, it makes me think outside the box. And I it, I had a blast. I thank Susan for um, for the for coming up with this challenge because you know, sometimes you need someone to jump start your creativity and I feel like she really did cuz I have been whipping layouts out and recording videos today like crazy. So just want to say thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, I really would appreciate if you'd click on the subscribe button. And um, if you can also click on like, which will make uh, YouTube realize that it needs to um, promote not the right word, but it, it kind of helps with the algorithms and it uh, helps show my video to other people who are looking for Kiwi Lane um, type videos. So here I'm cutting out the third set of um, Madison Avenue and I believe this is like the 3A and 3B. Um, and I end up using them on the left edge of my left page and the right side of the right page where my pictures are going to be concentrated more in the middle of the page. So these papers, although they're kind of like the fall colors and my pictures were taken in spring, the colors work really well with what my kids are wearing and um, and well I, I like the papers so <laughs> I wanted to use them and I had not used this kit yet. So I'm happy that I was able to use it. Uh, excuse the little spider that's just decided to hang off my camera and crawl, um, crawl around. Um, I think it's just hanging right now. And uh, I'm telling you, they're driving me crazy. These little tiny little spiders. Um, my craft room is in my basement and um, yeah. I have a spider issue. <laughs> so you may see another one, you know, in a future video. I don't think today's video will have any other ones. So I am, of course, out of adhesive, which is also very normal in my videos. Um, but for those that um, have asked, uh, this is my tonic. It's called Tonic Funky Tape Runner. It is by Tonic Studios. It has 10 meters of eight millimeter tape. It's probably not the best option, but I do mostly use the tape runners when I'm uh, making videos. When I'm just regular scrapbooking, you know, for myself, I do use my ATG. I just feel like the ATG is so clunky and so big that um, I'd rather use something small so that it doesn't, you know, cover up a lot of my um, you know, my, my surface. So here's a picture of my three kids. Um, 
Andrew on the top there is now 28. Brandon, who's in the middle, which should be at the bottom, is going to be 23 in a couple weeks. And Kelly, who's at the bottom of the page, is 25. So yeah, those pictures are pretty old. <laughs> so I'm going to use this blue paper to back my pictures. And I have cut them down to 4x4, four four, uh, at least these three, um, just to give me a little more space on my left page. So I'm just going to cut, I'm eyeballing all my measurements. I really, you know, for photo mats and stuff, I don't really um, care if they're precise or perfect. Um, but you would probably say that there's about an eighth of an inch frame around all my pictures. And the pictures on the right, I kept as four by six. And... I am just going to back them as, you know, the same with the same paper and um, these because they're actually, I think they're a little smaller than four by six. They may be three and like three quarters. So you do see that there is an edge on the top and the bottom um, of my paper. And again, it's like an eighth of an inch. I did not leave a border on the, l actually, did I leave a border? Yes, I did leave a border on the left side. Um, I was going to make the pictures meet in the middle, but then I decided to, um, to kind of give them more of a, a little frame on the top and the bottom. And yes, my pictures on the left are a little smaller than the ones on the right as far as lengthwise or, you know, from top to bottom, but I'm okay with that. So I start with these two pictures and I cut them down and then I realized that I had a couple more pictures that I wanted to add and they were kind of big so I was really struggling with how where I was going to put them what I was going to do with them. So now I you know I got off and I came back with four small prints and the picture on the left I'm not going to add. Because that's the only goofy picture that I had of, you know, any of them. So, um, so these small pictures, I'm going to use this uh, reddish, I think they're pumpkins or apples, I'm not sure, um, paper. And I'm going to mat each one again with like about an eighth of an inch of a frame. So, all in all, I end up getting... Uh, six, ten pictures on my layout and that is something that I rarely do because I never have that many pictures. Um, but, you know, I was excited to be able to, uh, to finally get these scrapped. So right now I am going to trace this arrow but I'm going to make it into a tree and that card actually says uh, See, it says life is a collection of moments and I'm just inking it and I basically use the bottom part and I did keep that little bottom part of the arrow portion of it just so that I can have something to glue my the top part of my tree so here I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to place my um, you know top of the tree the bush well, I don't know <laughs> the leaves that are not really leaves uh, so I'm going to cut it out and I actually later on adhere it. I do all that stuff and I don't know. I just, I wasn't happy with it. It just kind of like looks so blah there. And I was also struggling with the pictures. I didn't know where to put them. So I'm going to ink the edges of the tree top, tree top. That's what it is. And I thought of using that card and then I changed my mind and then I was like, oh, let me bring it to the left side of the page. And that I wasn't feeling. So I was like, yeah, no, that's not going to happen. I kind of had envisioned it already on the right side of my page. And I had, I already knew what I was doing. It was just, you know, being un undecisive and playing around and, and playing to create in my own way. So now 
I'm just again playing with these pictures I know they're gonna go on this page I just I'm not sure where they're gonna go and I end up I was trying to like I felt like the tree needed to be on a mound a little hill or something so that I think was my biggest struggle that the tree kind of looked like it was out of place so here's where I realized that part of my issue is that these two small pictures are the same exact color as the uh, trunk of the tree. So I realized that I need to mat it in a different paper, a different color so that it separates a little bit. So I'm just again giving it about an eighth of an inch. Um, frame on both of those pictures and they are actually going to stay right where you see them right at the bottom of the page and I'm adhering them as you can see and then the tree is going to kind of sit there in the back and I actually adhere it down and here's when I'm realizing that I'm not well I'm thinking it that I'm not really feeling the tree too much. Um, it's just kind of too flat. But then I use the nature's leaves and I cut out the good times. And I'm going to cut out my leaf and it's just gonna, you know, cause these were the good times. They were young, you know, they had, I mean, they're always good times when they're around, but we had a really nice time that day. And uh, I think these pictures were taken mothers, like a mother's day. So here I'm going to actually pop this little good times up and it's going to sit right there nestled in that perfect spot in, in that picture. And then now I'm going to trace the same leaf and I'm going to and I actually flip it upside down so that it's pointing in the other direction and it says live, sim live simply. And here's where I'm like struggling with it. I'm like, do I want it there? Do I want it over here? And it ends up on the left side of the page. So here's where I decide that I'm going to use an embossing folder. I felt like that tree needed some movement. So I don't do it on, on camera and because I turned the camera off, but I'm actually going to use some uh, lucky, uh, which one is that? It is Lucky Clover Distress Ink. And I'm just going to, and here's where I realized that I didn't do it. I basically just start at the on the paper and work my way in as I ink it. So that the raised part of the uh, tree actually have more, have color to it. And then I decide that I'm going to pop it up with some fun foam and now you see the difference in the tree there's actually it looks although those weren't leaves and they probably were watermarks um, there's a little more movement to it so now I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to use next or what I'm cutting out next and I decide to cut this leaf from nature um, and then I change my mind and I'm not going to cut it yet, but I do cut it eventually. Um, here we go. And that one says collect moments, not things. And I will ink the edges again with the Tim Holtz distress ink in the hickory smoke, which is my absolute favorite color. And I apologize for not cutting that on screen, but I was having a little bit of back pain and I was kind of sitting back in my chair and then realized that, oh, you probably couldn't see me do it. I'm gonna pop this leaf up just to give it a little bit dimension. And then I'm gonna start working on my title. Oh, actually I do cut the butterfly and there's a couple things that you won't see me do on 
camera because I actually did it after I was done, which is I stamped around the edges of the, um, the Madison Avenue templates. And you'll see it in the, if you wait until the end, you'll see the pic, the close up pictures. Um, I used a Jen Shao stamp. Um, it says, I can't even, and I just repeated it. I can't even, I can't even, um, on the edge. And I also used a, uh, Spectrum Noir glitter marker, um, which is clear. So all you get is a sparkle on, um, on the leaves, on my butterfly. Um, I also do it on the sun and I also use a gold pen and do some um, faux stitching on a few areas of my page just to kind of give it a little um, you know make it a little bit more mine so my son I'm cutting out of this card and again I kind of feel like it was a little flat so I do end up um, using the um using an orange spice marmalade distress ink which you'll see me do now and i just ink the edges just to give it the paper is like a yellowish color but i figured the orange would help it stand out a little bit more and i do have other orange items on my layout so it's not like it didn't you know it went well here i'm trying to figure out where it's going to go it does not end up on my left side of the page the butterfly eventually will end up there and here's where I decide that I'm going to tuck the, the sun behind the tree and it's gonna go right there so in that big blank spot I end up using um, some pink fresh studio puffy stickers uh, alphabet letters and I also use some L studio um, stamps uh, the title builder stamps to create my title which you will see eventually and it's saying capturing sibling moments capturing a moment I stamped and sibling is the pink fresh studios um, puffy sticker alphabet letters so we're pretty much coming very close to the end of this video thanks again for watching make sure you um keep a lookout we're going to be having a kiwi lane collaboration uh a few different um kiwi lane uh oh I just had a blonde moment. I just don't remember what I was going to say. A few of, a few friends that are Kiwi Lane um, partners are creating, we created a, um, a collaboration and we will be using the August kit that, that just came out. I just got mine on Friday and um, I'm really looking forward to showing you what I create with that layout and what my friends create with their um, kits. So these stickers really were horrible. They really did not stick. Like they were all over the place. You're gonna see me struggle. The struggle was real. I really had such a hard time picking them up. I had a hard time like keeping them stuck on the paper. Um, so yeah, so here you're gonna see me. I'm just gonna try to figure out, and I use a little bit of wax paper to kind of hold the letters together so I could see if they're straight. Um, and I'm going to use my 12 by 12 Misty to you, you know, to stamp my image or rather my, my, uh, title. And I just wanted to make sure that it was the right color. So, and I think at this point I was praying that it would show up right since I'm using orange ink and it is green paper. You know, I didn't know how it was going to turn out. So now I'm going to do the moments. And just same thing, I'm just going to go back, stamp. And I actually had to stamp it twice because it didn't take very well. And that is one of the things that I love my Misty because um, I'm not a great stamper. And this definitely makes stamping a lot easier. See, there, here's the struggle. 
and then I put the letters down and then I realized that they were all you know not centered so <laughs> so go figure so at, um, I will be adding journaling as well and I do that off camera and basically um, that is it that is my whole layout I hope that you'll stay to the end and take a look at the um, close-up pictures I appreciate you uh, stopping by and uh, let me know what you're creating and if you're going to do the Susan Budge challenge for a chance to win a $25 gift certificate you can check that out at play to create on Facebook if you just search play to create you will find the video and you will find the post about her um, challenge thank you for watching and you have a great day